Guys, it's getting cool outside. Finally, <laughs> finally, we're getting some winter weather down here in South Louisiana. But when we get cool down here, we don't acclimate to those colder temperatures like some of you guys on the east, west coast, and of course up north do. We need things that keep us warm. It might be 50 degrees outside, we need a jacket. One of the biggest challenges in having a jacket is also carrying your pistol on your side. I have found the perfect jacket, the Victos Gunfighter Flannel Jacket. This thing is perfect for concealed carry and it'll keep you warm. Guys, many times when I come out to the range, whenever it's cool, I'm always looking for a jacket that's going to allow me to, of course, stay warm, but also access all of the things that I wanna do when I'm trying to exercise those fundamentals. I wanna be able to access my firearm on my side. I don't wanna to have to you know, roll up layers of clothing in order to do that. But I also wanna have range of motion. I wanna have some functionality. I don't want a jacket that's gonna bind me up because it's just not, it's not giving in the places that it needs to be. I also want a jacket that's gonna to be tough, not one that's gonna tear up on me, not one that's gonna snag whenever it catches something. This jacket right here by Victos is an awesome jacket. It's got the best of all the worlds. It's got in the shoulders, it's got some breathable, flexible material there that's gonna allow you to pull your, uh, your, your hands together and actually practice your fundamentals and your range of motion however you need to without binding up. It's got some stretch across those shoulders there. And, and again, it's gonna give you that range of motion that you need without you feeling like you're being restricted. It's gonna allow you to train properly. It's also got these little protectors that you see on the elbows here. Um, that's a couple things that's going to protect the elbows, but also it's giving you a little bit more protection up here in case you're going through, I don't know, brush or anything like that in the event that you're you know, in an oddball situation out in the wilderness or whatever. You know, you got a little bit more protection over here on top of that 60-40 uh, wool and polyester blend that you already have on here, which again, that's lending itself to some big time warmth. If you're one of the guys that uses the little thumb hold things here to hold your sleeves down, you got those too. I typically don't use those. It's nice to have if I'm in a really, really cold environment. But if I'm that cold, I'm probably gonna have a set of gloves on anyway. So the thumb thing is nice to have. I just don't access them very much. Um, it's got pockets in it. It's got zipper pockets. You're gonna be able to put things inside of it uh, that you might need to, one on each side. I really like that. Of course, you have your front pockets here. You have your side pockets down below. One thing that I found was pretty cool is you also, you'll notice you have zippers right here on the side. You have some upper pockets, some higher pockets right here. These pockets are pretty cool for a couple of reasons. The main reason, if you happen to be running a plate carrier, it's my LBX plate carrier right here. If you happen to be running one, you're gonna be able to access everything on your plate carrier, but you can still put your hands in your pockets, whether you need to get something or you're just keeping your hands warm. So it's kind of cool that you actually, they thought enough to put these upper pockets up here. Again, additional storage, but also a different uh, additional, um, I guess, usability in the event that you're wearing a plate carrier or some kind of a chest rig. Um, one of the coolest things about it, and not one of, the coolest thing about it, is what I talked about earlier, accessing your weapon. You know, when you're all buttoned up here, zipped up, whatever, depending on the type of jacket that you're wearing, one of the hardest things to do, especially if you've got this thing kind of tightened up to where you're keeping all the wind from being able to get into it, it's usually gonna be relatively tight around your waist. You're usually having to pull up and really try to get to that weapon. You know, it's a little bit tougher to get to it. This thing has what Victos calls a gun vent. You'll notice it's got zippers on both sides. These things pull apart that easily, that easily, which means if you were in the normal condition that you're going to draw your concealed carry weapon and you go to pull up on your shirt, yeah, and normally it would, it would work on a jacket, but you'd have to maneuver that jacket to get it up over that weapon. In this case, that same range of motion that you're already trained in. Remember, you do not have to retrain with this particular jacket as if you were in the event, let's say you were wearing a t-shirt, it's the same type of fundamentals wearing a t-shirt as, as this because you simply grab and when you pull, you're opening that zipper. So now you're able to access that firearm, press it out and do what you gotta do, reholster it. And the, really the ease, it's just a matter of pulling that zipper back down again. It's really cool because you have that on both sides. Um, I'm, I'm just a big fan of that. I like the fact that I can access my firearm so quickly and so easily. Now, one thing I guess you could, if you wanna call it a downside is if you are 
uh, not drawing your weapon and you're doing some work or something like that and you just kind of pull on that, yeah, it opens up a little bit. I mean, it, it is that easy, but look, it's a lot easier for me to do like that if I feel a little bit of a breeze coming in than it would be to fight to get my jacket up in the event that I was trying to uh, grab my concealed carry firearm uh, if I was being attacked or my family was being attacked. Very cool features. I'm gonna show you real quick how easy it is to draw from this jacket real quick. And uh, then we're gonna wrap this thing up. All right, guys, I have cleared my concealed carry firearm. Let me reholster it. Pull my gun vent zipper back down again, make sure it's in the right position. Okay, if I'm going to present my gun in a normal, if I'm in a standard relaxed position and I go to grab my gun, I can put it out there, press it out there without, without a lot of range of motion. Make sure I zip this thing back down right again. Let me show you slowly how I would access that, that, that firearm. It's simply just a matter of my normal range of motion, even if I, like if I was wearing a t-shirt. I reach around, I've got my right arm back. I go to pull it up. When I'm pulling it up, it's unzipping, and I press my firearm out there. Reholstering it is just as simple. It's a matter of raising that up, accessing my holster. Never have to put my eyes on my holster, although I am a fan of putting my eyes on my holster. I feel like once you've neutralized any kind of a threat, it's now safe to put your eyes on your holster, but you don't have to because you don't have a jacket that you're having to fumble to get out of the way to access that holster again. The mouth of that holster is gonna be very obvious to you because it's in its normal position and you don't have any kind of fabric or jacket in its way. Again, very quick access for your concealed carry firearm and it's just a matter of covering that thing back up again and you're perfectly concealed again. Well guys, it's warmed up out here in Lake Charles, Louisiana, so off comes the tactical gunfighter jacket flannel jacket by Victos. Let me just give you the official name on it. It's the Gunfighter Tactical Flannel Jacket. This is a sweet jacket. I really like it. The 60% wool in this thing, this thing's gonna keep you warm. The polyester is in there to give you that stretch and a little bit of durability. So you're gonna have a great blend of fabrics here and the best of each fabric as far as the, uh, the amount that you need of each one of them. I know that sounds like I'm splitting hairs. I'm not exactly a guy that builds garments, but I understand what the, the, the need for each one of them is. Very cool jacket. It also is lined. I did not mention that earlier. Uh, again, that's gonna lend itself to keeping you even warmer. I've worn this thing in a very, very light rain and it does repel the rain a little bit. I mean, obviously a pouring driving rain is gonna get this thing soaked. One thing I wanted to mention <clears throat> that I tend to learn to do of course, you have some breathable vents up here right up under your arms as well. I did not mention that as well. One thing that's cool is I'm a big fan of Victos' uh, tactical gloves. I use them for work. I use them for out here at the range. Um, I use them to keep my hands warm during the winter. So since I'm usually not wearing a plate carrier, I do keep one in my vehicle for the uh, SHTF situations. Uh, but I'm not a normal user of one. I will use a uh, chest rig out here at the range every now and then. But my point is I don't typically access or have the need to access these top pockets on here because I'm not always wearing that plate carrier. What I utilize these top pockets for, because remember, I do have a lower set of pockets down here already. I typically keep them zipped up and I keep my Victos gloves in there. One glove on each side, of course, for left and right hand. And I just leave them in there. They don't take up much room. Um, if nothing else, that adds to the warmth because it's a little bit more material in there and they just stay out of the way and they don't bulge out because the way these pockets are built, they have this additional pocket in front of it so it looks natural. So I really like that. They have it in this particular blue color, uh, the jacket, and they also have kind of an army green looking jacket, which I do intend to get that one as well. Uh, I like this jacket a lot, guys. This I'm a big fan of this. Victos is a big time supporter and sponsor of mine. They provide me a lot of gear, but I gotta be honest with you guys, I purchased this one. Um, I didn't have time to reach out to them to go through the process of, of ordering one through them to get it in at no charge. So uh, I, I paid for this one with my own money. I believe I paid, I don't know guys, 195 or 200 bucks for this. It's not a cheap jacket by any stretch. I'm not telling you that this is something you're gonna find on the rack at Walmart. It's worth every penny though. And it's gonna last me a lot more than one or two seasons. And if you look at it, it's got this basic undated look to it. I don't feel like this thing is gonna go out of style with it having that flannel look. It's just got the look of a beefy flannel shirt which has been in style since I, <laughs> 30 or 40 years now. So I don't see it going out of style. I see me getting a lot of years of use around uh, with this thing. Um, I recommend you guys check them out if you get a chance to. The Victos Gunfighter Tactical Flannel Jacket, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed.